This is a test flight for a new thermal infrared sensor that colorizes the active part of a wildfire. We flew a drone gimbal on a Cessna 182 to test our new color infrared threshold that distinguishes the hottest part of a fire from already burned areas and surrounding ground heat. Sun-baked hot rocks and dry grass are a regular problem for us, showing up white like fire, especially during hot afternoons. Surprisingly, we came across two new fires, initial attacks, before CAL FIRE had arrived. Not only did we successfully test and prove our red thresholds, but we watched CAL FIRE crush two fires from beginning to end. White is hot in this video, meaning fire and anything warm shows up white. Cool ground and water show up dark. Previously, flaming fire already burned areas, referred to as the black, and hot rocks can all show up as the same indistinguishable bright white. Annoyingly, we must always tune the gain to visualize the actual heat of fire from surroundings. Red thresholds are breakthrough for aerial firefighting because we can instantly distinguish hot rocks from flames. Flames stand out clearly without the constant manual tuning. Terrain stays on automatic gain control and shows all the geomorphology. In deep canyons where mountains are hidden in smoke, this is especially valuable. We will see both at the same time, our target flames and the terrain we are avoiding. Test flights were very successful, and we were rolling out this new technology immediately on all of our air attack aircraft. Later that week, the test camera was installed on a 690 Turbine Commander and deployed to large wildfires in Utah. Like all Courtney Aviation planes, the live IR was transmitted to ground crews, and the fire teams loved colored flame thresholds. We quickly realized the right thresholds not only distinguish active fire from surrounding ambient heat, but give a deeper view into the workings of the fire itself. Patterns of intensity appeared that can help firefighters better understand where to attack, where not to, and what tactics were most effective. Transmitting live aerial infrared to air and ground teams simultaneously creates a common situational awareness for firefighters. When also live to incident command in fire camp, a common operating picture helps to keep everyone on the same page. Colored fire thresholds will allow quick and occasional viewers greater understanding. An added bonus to this test flight was watching CAL FIRE arrive and quickly put out two new fires. Often we hear and see the tankers launch to parts unknown, wondering, did they have a real one? Yes, they're real. In the first grass fire, it was controlled by ground crews and the tankers were diverted to another incident. On the second fire, two tankers and hell attack quickly subdued flames headed for residents. It was exciting to watch CAL FIRE's air and ground crews do their job so effectively.